Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from algebra, which we'll be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing x cannot be equal to negative half, as this will generate indeterminate form. So our solution cannot be negative half. Now I will take two common from our numerator. So we will get 2 power 5 in the bracket, we will get 2x plus 1 whole power 5 over 3x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 2 over 29. Now we will divide both sides by 32. Let's divide by 32. So this 32 and 2 power 5 will be over from LHS. And in RHS we will write 32 in the denominator. Now we can cancel 2 and 32. So it will be 16 times 29 in the denominator of RHS. So we can write equation 2x plus 1 whole power 5 over 3x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 whole power 5 equal to 1 over 29 times 16. This will be 464. Now I will flip our numerator and denominator. So we can write our equation 3x plus 2 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 whole power 5 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 464. Now I will split our numerator with denominator. So we can write equation as 3x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 plus 5x plus 2 over 2x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 464. Now we will use substitutions. Let's say first bracket equal to A and second bracket equal to B. So I can write our first equation A power 5 plus B power 5 equal to 464. Now we will say this is our equation 1 and we will find out A plus B also. So let us write here a plus b. This will be equal to 3x plus 2 plus 5x plus 2 over common denominator 2x plus 1. This will give us 8x plus 4 over 2x plus 1. Now we can take 4 common from the numerator. So we will get 2x plus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator. So we can cancel 2x plus 1 with 2x plus 1. So our second equation would be a plus b equal to 4. Let's say equation number 2. So we have two equations. Solve for a or b. So I will write equations first. a plus b equal to 4 and a power 5 plus b power 5 equal to 464. Let's use binomial expansion a plus b whole power 5. This can be written as a power 5 plus b power 5 plus 5 times ab in the bracket 
you will write a cube plus b cube plus 10 a square b square times a plus b. Now we have two equations a plus b 4, a power 5 plus b power 5, 4, 6, 4. Let us put the values. So I will write here 4 power 5 equal to 464 plus 5ab a cube plus b cube. We can use algebraic formula a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. Then a plus b. This is 4. 10 times 4 is 40. So plus 40 times a square b square. Now I will put a plus b equal to 4 again. So we will get 4 power 5 equal to 464 plus 5 times ab in the bracket 4 cube is 64 minus 3 times 4 12 ab plus 40 a square b square. Now I can take 4 common from this bracket. So I will be writing 4 power 5 equal to 464 plus 5ab times 4 in the bracket 16 minus 3ab plus 40a square b square. Now we will divide our equation by 4 as it is divisible by 4. So let's divide by 4 both sides. We will get 4 power 4 which is 256, 464 over 4, 116 plus 5ab in the bracket 16 minus 3ab. 40 over 4 is 10, a square, b square. Now I will write 4 power 4 as 256 minus 116. Let us write here. So I will write 256 minus 116. This will be equal to 80ab if I will expand minus 15 a square b square plus 10 times a square b square. Now 256 minus 116. This will give us 140 equal to 80 times a b minus 5 a square b square. Now we can divide our equation by 5 as it is divisible by 5. So we will get 28 equal to 16 times ab minus a square b square. Take all the terms to LHS. We will get a square b square minus 16 times ab plus 28 equal to 0. Now this is quadratic in ab. We can use method of factorization. So I will write here a square b square minus 16ab. I will split as minus 14ab minus 2ab. Minus 14 minus 2 is minus 16 plus 28 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take ab common. So in the bracket we will get ab minus 14. From last two terms, I can take minus 2 common. So we will get ab minus 14 in the bracket equal to 0. Now our factorization is done. ab minus 14 times ab minus 2 equal to 0. From product 0 rule, we can get 
ए बी इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर्टीन नाउ आई विल यूज अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू फोर आई विल राइट हेयर ए बी इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर्टीन अवर सेकेंड इक्वेशन वॉज ए प्लस बी इक्वल टू फोर फ्रॉम हेयर आई कैन राइट बी विल बी इक्वल टू फोर माइनस ए लेट्स पुट ओवर हेयर ए टाइम्स फोर माइनस ए इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर्टीन सो आई कैन राइट हेयर फोर ए माइनस ए स्क्वायर इक्वल टू टू एंड फोर्टीन मल्टीप्लाय दिस इक्वेशन बाय माइनस वन बोथ साइड्स सो ए स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए इक्वल टू माइनस वन टाइम्स टू माइनस टू माइनस वन टाइम्स फोर्टीन माइनस फोर्टीन नाउ आई विल राइट टू इक्वेशंस फर्स्ट वन इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन ए स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए इक्वल टू माइनस फोर्टीन नाउ आई विल एड फोर टू बोथ साइड प्लस फोर प्लस फोर हेयर ऑल्सो प्लस फोर प्लस फोर सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विल गिव अस वन परफेक्ट स्क्वायर दिस इज ए माइनस टू होल स्क्वायर Here also a minus two whole square. Right hand side we will get four minus two is two. Here I will write minus fourteen plus four is minus ten. Now I will take a square root both sides. So a minus two will be plus minus a square root two. Or I can get value of a equal to. 2 plus minus the square root 2. So we have two real values, and here the square is negative. So we can utilize the property from complex number, as we all know, i square is minus 1. So I can write our equation a minus 2 whole square. This will be equal to 10 i square. Let me write this equation. Here, a minus two whole square is ten i square. Now I will take square root both sides. We will get a minus two equal to plus minus i times square root ten. Let's add two to both sides. We will get a equal to two plus minus i times square root ten. complex solutions so we can reject easily these two values rejected so accepted a would be a equal to 2 plus minus a square root 2 now a was our substitution a was 3x plus 2 Or 2x plus 1 equal to 2 plus minus square root 2. Now I will split our numerator. Let me write here 3x plus 2 or 2x plus 1 equal to 2 plus minus square root 2. Now I will split 3x as 2x plus x, 2 as 1 and plus 1 over 2x plus 1 equal to 2 plus minus square root 2. Let's split our numerator with denominator, so we will get 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1, which will be 1 plus X plus one over two x plus one equal to two plus minus square root two. Now we will subtract one from both the sides. We'll get x plus one over 
टू एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू टू माइनस वन सो आई विल राइट वन प्लस माइनस स्क्वायर रूट टू नाउ आई विल मल्टीप्लाई अवर इक्वेशन बाई टू बोथ साइड सो लेट मी डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट हेयर टाइम्स टू एंड हेयर ऑल्सो टाइम्स टू लेट सिंप्लीफाई सो एल एच एस विल बिकम टू एक्स प्लस टू ओवर टू एक्स प्लस वन एंड आर एच एस विल बी टू प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट टू अगेन आई विल स्प्लिट अवर न्यूमरेटर टू एक्स प्लस टू सो आई विल राइट हेयर टू एक्स प्लस वन प्लस वन सो इन टोटल दिस इज टू एक्स प्लस टू एंड डिनोमिनेटर इज टू एक्स प्लस वन राइट हैंड साइड वॉज टू प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वायर रूट टू अगेन आई विल स्प्लिट न्यूमरेटर विथ डिनोमिनेटर so 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1 i will be writing 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1 equal to 2 plus minus 2 times square root 2 now i will subtract 1 from both sides we will get 1 over 2x plus 1 this will be equal to 1 plus minus 2 square root 2 now again i will take reciprocal both sides So we'll be getting 2x plus 1 value. This will be equal to 1 over 1 plus minus 2 times square root 2. Now I have to take away 1, subtract 1 from both the sides. So we will get 2x equal to 1 over 1 plus minus 2 square root 2 minus 1. or i can write after taking lcm our rhs will become 1 minus 1 so that 1 and minus 1 will be over we will get minus plus 2 square root 2 in the numerator and denominator will be 1 plus minus 2 square root 2 now we will divide both sides by 2 to get our final answer x will come out minus plus Square root two. Two will be over over one plus minus two square root. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So here we are having two solutions. If I will write here x equal to minus root two over one plus two root two and Plus root two in the numerator, then denominator will get one minus two root two. Once I will rationalize our denominator, we will get our final answer. X will be equal to root two over seven in the bracket one minus two root two. And second solution would be. Minus root two over seven in the bracket one plus two. So we have one and two real solutions. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.